Okay, so a quick update. Um, so uh, for the Grand Wagoneer, just to recall, Grand Wagoneer sway bar links. Um, since it has a three inch lift, the links were, the original links were too short. So I figured I would try this without welding, without ordering new ones and see how it works. So now they're 13 and a quarter I are center to center, which is where they need to be. I drilled through a quarter inch hole. These are, I got about a little more than an, about an eighth on each side from the hole. That's not too bad. I think, I think it'll be okay if, it, if it's a problem, then I'll just weld it up. But I figure I'd try it this way first. And I had a bunch of these, don't ask me why, they are shock eye bushings, they're polyurethane and they fit perfectly in here, well they will, um, with a little bit of persuasion it'll be the right fit and they fit perfectly onto the bolts, which is even better. So I think that's what I'm going to do. The issue is, let me show you, when they go in here they'll be big but Not that much bigger than the original. I might trim the outside a little bit um, and see how that works. And the way these work is, you know, this built-in uh, area is a washer. And I just realized all I have is a lock washer for the other side. Um, so I'm missing a washer that needs to cover the surface here. So I'm going to need to get, um, I guess I'm going to need to get a few of those. And then we'll go about mounting it up. Um, so I got these from uh, AutoZone. It was like $3 for a pack of two. And these one inch size... Let me see if there's a part number. One inch size uh, sway bar mount bushings. So that'll work. For these, you have to reuse the original mount, uh, the original mounting bolts. So that shouldn't be an issue right in there. And we should be good to go.